Hello. Welcome to this week's edition of Acting Tips with Howard Fine, powered by Casting Networks. What will scare you more than breaking down in an emotional scene is handling physical life. Sometimes serving dinner, doing dishes, any of those things could suddenly really put you in your head. So physical life has to be really practiced and you want to orient your body to your surroundings. Hagen made a very important point, which is why she wrote A Challenge for the Actor as her second book, and that is the object of all movement is destination. We do not get up for no reason to go nowhere. We have to supply the motivation. A great story, uh, one of my longtime students and friends, Jim Belushi, was doing the movie Wonder Wheel opposite Kate Winslet, and they would both race each other to set every day. Jim said publicly that she would always beat him. But in any case, they wanted to get using the kitchen. They wanted to know where everything was. They wanted to orient themselves so that it looked as if it was their home. Another one of my students had the good fortune of doing a movie with Gene Hackman. When everyone else was on lunch break, Gene Hackman sat around the set, put his feet up on the coffee table, we are creatures of habit. We have our spot on the couch, our chair at the breakfast table. And so you've got to endow space and make it your own. Very, very important. Let's say you're playing a scene in a home that has been in your family for many years. That is a museum of memories. Did dad used to sit in that rocking chair? What are some of the things that happened around the dinner table? So space must be endowed. You've got to make it personal. Austin Butler was doing uh, The Carrie Diaries, and he was playing a scene where his girlfriend, uh, her sister had run away, and his character, Sebastian, was looking around his sister's, uh, his girlfriend's sister's bedroom to see what he could find, newspaper articles, anything that might be a clue as to her whereabouts. The set decorator had Xeroxed the same news article and put it all around in different places. Austin did not want that because his own sense of truth, picking up the same article over and over again, that's harder to do. So what did he do? He spent his lunch getting real articles and putting them around so that he could pick it up and really look at something. It's harder to do otherwise, as I said. So if you have to write a letter in a scene, what should you really do? Write a letter. If you have to read a letter in a scene, what should you really do? Read a letter. Do you know how many times I've seen my students squiggle on a notepad pretending to write? Stanislavski taught us truthful action leads to belief. Untruthful action, if you flip that around, leads to disbelief. So pretending to write is going to put you right in your actor head and make you aware you're acting. So whenever you can do the real thing or come close to it, you want to do that. It's harder the other way.